Dave doing a bit. Hey, Patch. Chris doing a bit. What noise does an engine make down? This goes dugga 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 dugga. Diesels, mate. No good. No good. <laughs> Look at this guy. Number one bullshit guy. It's all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I'd followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Maker and we're located in Shropshire and I'm Dave. And what I'm gonna do is talk you through this puppy shortly, but before I forget, next week is going to be a question and answers. So if you wanna know anything about what we do here or you wanna know how to do something on your own truck, don't be afraid to drop a question below, subscribe, Send it nationwide, guys. We really want to build this tube and help everybody and help yourselves to follow our content. So this is how they start, basically. So we start off with the original block because we all know cars that go into America, and a lot of people in the UK, they like to keep their numbers. A lot of people, they like to just keep matching things. So if we can rework a old block, we will do. So as you see here, we took the crank out, we polished the crank. We took the camshaft out, we polished those. Any marks, discrepancies, we polished them out or we replaced them. This one had brand new pistons, new rods, new big ends, new small ends, new head gaskets. We literally don't skimp on these guys. We face the blocks just so you've got a beautiful start to the finish. And as you can see here, this is where we're going above and beyond. So these are all soda blasted. And then we powder coat every area of these, but then we deburr. We re-tap, we clean all the threads up because we, we don't want someone to have a, a bit of a niggle when it comes to it. As you see here, these heads have had a lot of work. You want to come in here, Chris? If you take your look inside there. So we've opened the area up slightly. Not too much because you don't want to go tickling the water jacket and having leaks and things. So they've been ported to the point of where Let's say it's safe if you like, but we want to get as much air into the cylinders as possible. So we're running hybrid turbos to ram the air in and literally get the ultimate bang for buck out of these engines. And as you can see here, that head is literally ready to go. So what you see here is a 300 TDI. This was the later engine to the 200 TDI. Everybody knows the 200 TDI is super reliable, bulletproof, just goes forever. You can run them on net, chip oil, you name it. So anyway, Land Rover came up with the 300TDI. They said it was more advanced. In my opinion, all they've done, serpentine front end, they kept it to 2.5 litre capacity. They changed the front end, better belt layout. I wanna say they made it a little bit more oil tight, but some would disagree. But what we've done to this engine, so we totally pulled it to bits, back then to the bare block. Everything's been remachined. It's got new camshaft, new crankshaft, new cam bearings, new crank bearings. She's been honed. If some of these require to be reboard, obviously we'd have a liner. So what you can see here, we've gone with a lot heavy duty clutch kit. We love the products that Luke's producing, so we always keep his products there. Original flywheel that's been skimmed and refaced. New starter motors, new turbo. And as you can see here, we go the extra mile with the finish of these engines. Just to, it's more for aesthetics, but if you've got a nice clean engine bay, you're gonna keep it clean in my opinion. So if you want to come up here, Chris, you'll see this turbo's been reworked. So the inside of this housing has been machined for a bigger wheel. We've gone for, this wheel I believe is a three millimeter oversize, if you like, from, from standard. So, and then we've gone with a billet wheel. This wheel will actually get more air into the engine prior to the original, if you were to compare it to the original version. And also what you see here, these are Pioneer's braided lines. So. The guys at Pioneer have reworked everything. So even from leak off lines to the boost lines, everything in our paint is just, it's gonna last longer. And I wanna say this braid is gonna be good for the 10 to 15 years. So the other modifications we do to these, this fuel pump's been sent off to the Bosch shop. It's had bigger elements put inside it to flow more fuel. The injectors have also gone to the Bosch shop to be matched to the pump. And also we've gone with better nozzles to atomize the diesel more efficiently and to get more power per revolution. As you'll see here, we made this stand to aid with, so when we build this engine in this corner, 
we start off with a block as you see there and we'll work our way to the top, put the sump on, put the top end on, put the rods in, put the camshafts in, set the time in. So we wanted to know are these engines good to go out the door? Our next, our next purchase is going to be an engine dyno because I want to know what our figures are pushing out really and what our modifications are actually doing and we want our clients to actually have a lovely piece of paper to say your engine on the 1st of the 1st 2022 made 180 horsepower. So I know that I can ship these across the pond to the USA and sleep at night knowing that my customers are going to be happy when they open that crate. And as you'll see here, we've got an oil light on here so we know not to tie this engine over until it's got good oil pressure. So as you see, it's something we can run test, we can check for leaks, we can do, we can do pretty much everything that what you could do in the vehicle. So we can look at things like starter motors that working correctly, is the lift pump working correctly? Have we got any leaks in the diesel system and the leak off lines? But when we ship these engines to the States, we've actually got to drain all the fluids out. So we've got to literally have it back on this stand, get every drop of fluid out, then wrap them in cotton wool if you like, shrink wrap them so they're totally watertight so they don't drip on the planes. We're going to crate them up and we're going to ship them. So this engine isn't for sale unfortunately because this is for Kingsman Editions. But what we have got is we've got a 200 TDI that you'll see in a photo shortly. That is for sale and we've got that up currently for £9,500 plus the VAT. So if you want that engine, it's number three I believe and I'll make a range. And it's also to stage three so I want to say we've given you 50 horsepower over the original engine's output. So if you want that engine guys, please get in touch via info at maker.com. Calling you up at two in the morning But you don't want to talk, you don't want to bother yeah, yeah. So I took another shot, let my brain do the walking I don't want to be your friend, I want something real Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange Whilst we're on the subject of 200 TDIs, here's one we built earlier if you like. This is number two and a very good customer of ours, Richard, is actually treating his 17 year old son to this vehicle as his first car, which I think is absolutely cool. I wish my dad got me one of these, especially this immaculate. But what we're going to be doing is put in the old body from, I think it's a 19, I want to say 1988. So 200 TDI, 90 Defender, we're going to land that old body onto here so it's going to be mechanically perfect, mechanically solid and basically be what you see here, ready to go. So Jeremy and Louis this morning, we, I bought the chassis this morning, we're landing it in here. We've gone with some TDC axles as a nice upgrade because the old 200 TDI axles were just beyond, well they weren't beyond reworking but it's going to be more cost effective. So we bought these axles off eBay for our client, I think they were a couple of grand. The cases have been galvanised, the diffs have been rebuilt, the hubs are tidy, you know what I mean? So I said to Richard, I said, look, you can spend a couple of grand on some Puma axles, but there's little subtle mods that we have to do, which we call retro modding. So 
Puma Panard rod, so we have to change the Panard rod if you want to fit Puma axles because Land Rover kindly made these bolt sizes to 16 mil, opposed to 14 mil, which used to be the originals. So we've gone with a new steering box and we've gone with adrenaline turret. We've gone with our favorites, of course, the Fox shocks. We fitted the boots because of all of the salt in this country seems to rot everything. And as you can see down here, we've even galvanized things like the engine mounts, the gearbox mounts, and Winchester gears have made a beautiful job of this gearbox. So I asked Tom to fully dress them for me. So for those of you that want a gearbox, don't ring Tom because it's slowing my time down. So go get them elsewhere, maybe give Ashcroft a ring. So this is what you get from Tom. Beautiful, fully dressed. Jeremy's just fitted the prop shafts to it and we've literally made this car rolling. So this morning it was a Marsland bare chassis. So the next steps now is body prep. So we're gonna do things like get the tub ready, get the bulkhead ready. We've actually just bought a bulkhead from Ultra Bulkheads. And for those of you who needed a bulkhead, the guy really knows what he's doing. He's only up the road in Chester. So if you need a bulkhead, give us a shout because we will start stocking his awesome product. I've been there, handmade in the UK, which everyone knows that's what I'm all about. So, yeah. So this is one of Guy Martin's and Tornado Motorsports. This is a Lancaster bomber and we're going to hang it from the roof. He put them up the other day and I thought, I'm going to have to have one of them. So it's laser cut from aircraft aluminium. See here. Yeah, so this is number 30. I think he's only done 50. So, as I mentioned earlier guys, this is the engine that's for sale. This is Maker number three. Hand built in this workshop by my father. Super proud of, look what he's just done. It speaks for itself, okay? This engine, it's been on the stand. We've ran it up. It made fantastic oil pressure. This has got TurboTechnics Turbo, so that's a VNT hybrid. So this will really give you some get up and go. If you've got an original tire to on your TVI, ping me an email or drop a comment and I'll get in touch with you. So I want to say this engine is running 50 horsepower more than before. We are going to dyno one to prove ourselves and I will update my figures if I'm wrong. So if anyone would like this engine, nine and a half thousand pound plus the VAT, get it bought and let's get done. What's wrong with this picture, Chris? You lend a trailer to someone, Chris, and they turn it upside down.
here, lover boy. He's used to doing this on a Friday night. So that's it for this episode guys, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in, make sure you subscribe, drop a comment guys because next week we're going to answer all these questions you've got for us. Anyway, I'm off home now for the weekend, we put the bikes on the back and I'm off to Land Egg for the weekend, take care. <laughs>